Super Idol de Charong, Domain need to tan by each for the The most toxic game in existence. Overcooked 2. Now you may be wondering, oh, or the butt Garfu. It's a cooking game. How can cooking game be? It's not just any cooking game. It's life or death, bro. This gay will literally have you pulling hair out of your scalp. This is the most toxic game I have ever been a part of. And yes, it's on levels with Call of Duty Black Ops type of toxic. It's Overwatch type of toxic. I mean, niggas take this game very seriously. They take this game like it's an actual, like they're on fucking Hell's Kitchen, okay? It's it's on that type of level. They take this game as seriously as Gordon Ramsay they're sniffing their fucking, the back of their fucking head, bro. Like, they take it that seriously. That's how it feels when you play the fucking game. <laughs> it's like Gordon Ramsay is right next to you looking at everything you do, okay? It's fine, though. And some people take it seriously, like it's an actual job and they get like serious, serious anxiety. Like, calm down. Nigga, calm down. It's a fucking video game. It's not real. Like, goddamn. Niggas is getting the shiver me tempers like each time they're trying to make a fucking sushi roll or some shit. Like, holy shit. They just, oh my gosh. They get it's so tense over this game. Like, it's just a game, man. <laughs> So usually in this game, people play with each other. No diddy. No diddy, no diddy, no diddy. But, but, but people play with each other on co-op, online, or you know, couch. It's like a couple's game. I, I saw this video of like a couple and this dude was telling her what to do because she kept fucking up. <laughs> I don't blame him. It, it gets like that most of the time. If you try to play this game, like if you try to play this game alone, it's not worth it. Yeah, no, you will never get like a very, very high score, like record breaking type shit, especially on the, the, the maps that pretty much do too much. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. You know, you, you might just want to be making, um, you know, just like a cheeseburger or some shit, call it a day. No, no, <laughs> the game don't want you to do that. The game wants you to fucking suffer and die. <laughs> <laughs> Blood, you can be making a fucking Big Mac in the middle of the sky, just falling down, bro. You can be making a Big Mac in hell. Like, the, the map changes. You can be making a Big Mac in the middle of, like, a, a crime heist or some shit. Like, a bank robbery. Like, this game puts you literally everywhere, bro. Like, you're trying to make some food. It, the map changes a lot. The only map that doesn't change a lot is the sushi map, which is my favorite map because it does change a lot, right? I mean, like, some niggas just want to cook, okay? We don't want no extra bullshit, you know, the map changing, your place is changing. Yeah, yeah, some, some people don't like that. I mean, it's for me, it's like, it's okay, but I have to learn. See, here's the thing with the game. You gotta know what you're doing or you can't play co-op. You can't play multiplayer unless you know what you're doing. Okay, so that's one of the main reasons why, okay, play single player, but that's pretty much the only reason you should be playing single player. And like for learning the maps, you gotta learn the maps, you gotta learn the recipes, you gotta know uh, what type of weird catastrophe is happening on the map, right, you know? Um, and you gotta designate like what you're doing in the game. Like as soon as the game, the round starts, you're like, okay, it's this map, I'm gonna do this. You stay there. You gotta stay there. If you switch up, you get kicked from the fucking map. Okay, you, you, you get kicked from the game. Nobody takes bullshit. Even if you're doing the right thing and everything feels good and you know you're getting orders in and everything's chill, you're still gonna get kicked from the game just because they felt like it. You know, maybe, it, maybe it's like a Wednesday. It's somebody had a bad day at work and you join their lobby thinking, oh man, I can't wait to get on Overcooked 2 and play with some random people online, you know, have a good time, you know, fun game, fun game, we like video games, you know, uh, an escape from the world and the motherfuckers just kick you every time. Yeah, so that's pretty much half of the experience on Overcooked 2. You spend maybe like, spend a good second in the lobby maybe, you know, trying to find a match without getting fucking kicked randomly. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of confusing. I'm just like, if you want a private match to make a make a private match, you know, you don't have to have random people in the match. Just invite your friends, make a private lobby. You don't make a random game and you just kick out pretty much everybody in there. That's that's what, that's gonna happen to you at least once a day, maybe a couple times a day. Or maybe you get into the match and you just get instantly kicked. <laughs> hey, you gotta know what you're doing because you don't if you you know because you you can't be making um 
just like in a regular kitchen but you, you can't be like cutting up meat and then you go to the fucking dishwasher and like wash like 10 fucking dishes and people thought you were cutting up meat and putting them in the you know the saucer so it can get cooked but no you're, you're doing dishes and you keep going back and forth between places or whatever you can't do that you do that, you get the boot. Yeah, that, that's, that's not allowed here, okay? You, you gotta choose one job. Unless it's like two people play, or maybe even three. But I mean, even then, I mean, you're still gonna get kicked randomly, right? Like, I literally got kicked from a game when I was recording, just right now. Everything was going fine. I mean, two people left randomly. I don't know, I guess this one dude couldn't take it and he left in like the middle of the, the match. But we were doing fine. Like, yeah, we were doing our designated um things and he just randomly, I, I guess he either ended the match or he kicked me so <laughs> that happened you will literally get kicked for like any reason it really doesn't matter yeah it don't really matter if you learn the recipes or not matter of fact fuck the recipes i mean just find a game with niggas that just don't care right <laughs> that's the that's the end game i mean because you're just gonna get kicked a lot in this game you literally just get kicked for anything you try and make the recipe you get kicked you breathe, you get kicked. You exist, you get kicked. You literally just get kicked for existing. You join the lobby, you get kicked. Like literally, that's it. Like you could be doing everything right too in the in the game, and you still get kicked. It don't matter. You, you just get kicked. I will not lie. There are some pretty dumb people in the game that like you know get. I I understand you get confuzzled with all the uh, you know um, ingredients and the recipes and shits. But just just take your time. Just take one second, like five seconds. Look at the menu. Look at what you're doing. And then just make it, you know? It's fine. But, like, motherfuckers be standing still like it's the mannequin challenge. But, like... And then all of a sudden they disappear into existence. They leave the fucking game because they don't know what the fuck to do. Or some people just leave just because other people don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> right? But, like, people just going around just throwing hot dog buns everywhere, you know? Just... Yeah, it's, it's chaotic. Right? <laughs> I, I feel like... At least two people in each lobby don't know what they're doing and in the other two there's one person who kind of does know and there's just one big expert which is probably the host he just fucking kicks everybody so yeah i, I, I understand i understand <sighs> this game is really competitive though it's probably worse than competitive overwatch i'm not gonna lie if you don't get kicked a lot you're gonna be yelled at by your friends a lot in the lobby <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing especially if it's like couch co-op or some shit you don't know like what the fuck's going on but yeah you know, it, it's kind of, it's so bad that, you know, I, I'm even resorting to, like, knowing the recipes on my phone. Because I, I don't really play Overcooked like that. It's a good game, but I don't really play it like that. So, you know, when I forget the recipes and shit. I know the sushi shit. The sushi map is easy. It's just street things. And then the map doesn't change at all. But every other map, the map changes, the environment changes. <laughs> the recipes get a little complicated and shit. You got a lot of niggas that don't know what the fuck to do, you know. So <laughs> it's always good to have the recipes on your phone for like, you see the map popping up in the lobby. So real quick, just, you know, search it up, you know, look at it if you don't know the recipe and shit. I mean, that's the only advice I can tell you to do or just play single player and like just memorize what the fuck to do pretty much. I mean, you don't have to have everything down to it. Well, maybe you do. It depends on the host of the lobby, okay? I mean, they'll, they'll fucking kick you for anything. I don't, you know, yeah. To end it all off, this is, one of the most toxic games i have ever played i mean they're probably i don't even think there's a voice chat feature is there i don't i don't think so i think there is but half of, most of the time there's gonna be no people on mics okay and uh i mean that's part of the problem you know like nobody's really on mics uh you know nobody's inviting people to party chat or anything and they just try and play their way yeah no it's yeah. So uh, anyways, I mean, I like the game, it's just it toxic as hell, like holy shit, man, you gotta know what you're doing, you, you really gotta do, you really gotta do. Hey. Learn the recipes, play single player to know the maps, I mean, it's kind of hard in single player either way, I mean, I, I, I did do the story mode a little bit, but I mean, like, bro, like, it, it's hard to play single player. I mean, you, you get like two characters still, you know, to move around, but it's still hard as shit, so. Hey, yeah, fun game, but like, you know. Shot at a black man and took his shoes. Customize my AR like a Black Ops 2. Just scammed a white kid out of some Gorilla Glue. I don't want to fuck this bitch, she smell like poo-poo.